Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to share a very interesting discovery with you guys. So as of recent, we know AT&T has 5G nationwide. How did they achieve it so quickly? They used their low band, band 5, and they added that slice to the NR side. And now most people in, in a good amount of markets are seeing the 5G logo. Did that necessarily perform much better than LTE? Is it performing great? No. There's not a huge difference in performance. But what I have discovered in El Paso recently is the first signs of us actually, or at t actually using the DSS technology. So what you see here on the screenshot here is N2, which is band two. So now they have moved 1900 megahertz over to the NR side. And it's the bandwidth of 20 megahertz. Now, people have been asking me, well, how, how are they using 20 megahertz if that's most of the spectrum on LTE? So I checked LTE and sure enough, 20 megahertz was still on LTE. So they are definitely using DSS in this case. There's no way they carve out so much PCS spectrum on LTE to move that to 5G because it would tremendously hurt the LTE performance in this market 100%. So now they are using, so they're still using the other LTE bands. So you see 66, band 2 at 5 megahertz, and then you also see band 12 as the primary. But now in order to achieve the 5G in El Paso, since we have no 850 megahertz band 5, they are using N2. I'm also being told soon they will start utilizing N66, N30, as well as N14. That's a little bit further out. But right now, El Paso is a 5G market officially, and it's being done with N2 at 20 megahertz using the DSS technology that we've heard about for so long now. So I just wanted to share that with you guys to give you guys a taste. I have not gotten a speed test yet from this. I'm pretty sure it's going to perform very similar. I know there is percentage-wise better efficiency on the NR side, but 20 megahertz is still 20 megahertz. So it's not going to boost performance any different likely from what, what is being seen on LTE. It's 20 on LTE, 20 on 5G. It's likely going to perform very, very, very similar. So again, if you are new to the channel, make sure and you look forward to updates like these, make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end this video now. If you are new and you look for, you're for you looking for another outlet to interact with me or to get push notifications in case YouTube doesn't push them out fast enough, make sure to follow my Twitter. I do post the videos on the Twitter as well, so you guys have two platforms to get push notifications. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.